Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is probability. As we know, probability is one of the very important topic for all kind of exams. Let it be bank exams, SSC exams, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. In all the exams, you can find questions from the probability and probability is one of the very important topic for SBI. Many times, questions, number of questions will be 5 from the probability in the SBI examination. So, let us start with the question number 1. A bag contains 12 white and 18 black balls. Two balls are drawn in succession without replacement. What is the probability that first is white and second is black? So friends, whatever questions we have solved till now, we had solved questions based on the coins in the probability. Now today we are going to solve questions of the probability based on the balls selection, right? Okay. Now a bag is there, a bag is there which is having 12 white balls and 18 black balls. Two balls are drawn in succession without replacement. What is the probability that first is white and second is black? So friends, this term without replacement is a very important term in this question. So this you have to understand, right? Okay. So if you'll see the total number of ball is what? Total number of ball is 12 plus 18, which is nothing but 30 balls, right friends? Okay. Now two balls are drawn in succession. So what was happening? one ball has drawn one ball has been drawn and then without replacement so one ball has been drawn and it uh, and it would have thrown somewhere else now how many balls will be there so 30 minus 1 so now the ball will be 30 minus 1 which is nothing but 20 so the second ball second ball which they are going to remove which they are going to draw is from 29 balls right okay see because they are clearly telling without replacement means they are not going to replace see the first ball which they are drawing they are throwing it out somewhere they are not keeping it back right okay so in that case let's see what will be your probability so now we know the formula for probability is the formula for probability is ne divided by ns where ns is equal to total outcomes ns is equal to total outcomes and if we'll talk about any, so any will be nothing but my favorable outcomes, right? Okay, my favorable outcomes. So now the first ball has been drawn from out of 30 ball. So the first ball, we are selecting one ball out of 30 ball, right? Okay, now that ball, the first ball should be what? White. The first ball should be white. So if you want white ball, then draw it from the white. So 12 c1 then select it from the white now second ball second ball which we are drawing is nothing but from 29 ball so out of 29 ball you are selecting one ball and that should be what black so if you want black ball then you select from the black then only it will be black so this will become 18 c1 right okay now there are many things to be understand here see the first thing is without replacement so number of ball will be the number of ball will decrease right okay and they are not drawing the ball at a time right okay they are drawing the ball in succession see first they are drawing first ball and then they are drawing then they are drawing second ball and then they are selecting second ball right okay now so first ball so when they are selecting first ball that time the number of balls will be 30 so 30 c1 30 c1 represents 30 c1 represent means you are selecting one ball you are selecting one ball out of how many out of total 30 ball right okay and that ball should be white see here the favorable outcomes so if we'll talk about the favorable outcomes means that ball should be what white so if you want white ball then select it from white okay now the first ball is white and so this term is also very important so if it is and means we have to use multiplication and if it is or means we have to use addition right okay you have to use plus sign so the year first ball should be white okay so 12 c1 into now the number of ball will be one less so 29 c1 and they want white ball so as a black ball so select from the black so 18 c1 right okay so this is my total probability because and was there so we have used the multiplication symbol now 12 c1 will be 12 divided by 30 into 18 c1 will be 18 and divided by 29 okay now we can do some calculations here so 6 3 ja and 6 5 ja 12 into 3 is 36 
and 36 divided by so 5 into 30 will be 150 150 minus 5 that means 145 so 36 divided by 145 that means option b will be the correct answer for question number one now let's move to the question number two now the question number two is a bag contains so there is a bag is there which contains four white five red and six blue balls okay three balls are drawn at random from the bag the probability that all of them are blue so this question is friends very simple so again the formula for probability is very clear to us n e divided by n s where n s is equal to total outcomes and n e will be favorable outcomes right okay now how many total number of balls are there so if we we'll talk about the total number of balls then 4 plus 5 plus 6 so 9 plus 6 is 15 now there are total friends 15 balls are there and now how many balls you are going to draw so you are going to draw three balls so total outcomes will become 15 c3 see the total number of balls and then you are going to select three balls so 15 c3 will become our total outcomes now what about favorable outcomes so all all balls should be blue the probability that all of them is blue so if you want all blue balls then select from then take all the three balls from blue then it will be automatically blue see if i will select all the balls from blue then it will be blue no need to think only right okay so 6 c3 divided by 15 c3 so if you'll solve you'll be able to get answer now 6 c3 so that day i had told you friends ncr so ncr will be n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial so n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial so if i calculate 63 then 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 3 factorial now 6 factorial i will expand 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial i will stop stop till 3 factorial because 3 factorial is there in the denominator now the first 3 factorial will be equal to 6 and this will be 3 factorial 3 factorial 3 factorial cancel 6 6 cancel so 6 c3 will be 20 divided by now we'll calculate what is 15 15 c3 so in the previous video i have discussed how to calculate ncr and the factorials now 15 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 15 minus 3 is 12 factorial now 15 factorial i am going to expand so i will stop till 12 factorial because in the denominator we have 12 factorial and this 3 factorial will be equal to 6 into 12 factorial 12 12 gone you can say uh, 3 2 ja and 3 5 ja and 3 and uh, 3 oh, sorry 3 2 ja and 3 5 ja and then 2 7 ja right okay so 3 7 ja 91 91 into 5 so i can say 91 into 5 right okay will be what 15 c3 so 5 this will divide by 4 times so 4 by 91 so 4 by 91 will be the probability for the given question that means option d is the correct answer so i hope friends you understood both the questions and the solution so probability is one of the easy topic you just have to understand like if you understand the definition what is the total outcomes and what is the favorable outcomes and few terms which is related to factorial and combinations then you will be able to solve the questions easily thanks a lot for watching the video